Genesis chapter 16. Sarah and Hagar. Now Hagar, Abram's wife, bare him no children. And she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarah said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord had restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in, go into my maid. I may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarah. And Sarah, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelled ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived, and when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarah said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into my thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. But Abram said unto Sarah, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. An angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way of Sir. And he said, Hagar, Sarah's my maid, whence camest thou, and whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress, Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for a multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art a child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Asmael, because the Lord had heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she called the name of the Lord that spoke unto her, Though God seest me, for she said, Have I also here looked after him that seest me? Wherefore the well was called Bera Boy. Behold, it is between Cadus and Beret, and Hagar bare Abram a son. And Abram called his name called his son's name, which Hagar bare Asmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old. When Hagar bare Asmael to Abram. Chapter 17 Abraham and the Covenant of Circumcision and, and when Abraham was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham <clears throat> and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect, and I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And behold, behold and Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name and more be called Abraham, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. 
and I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generation, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which shall ye, shall ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man among you shall be circumcised, and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant be, be with me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations. He that is born in the house and or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with the mo thy money must, must needs be circumcised and my covenant shall be in your flesh for everlasting covenant. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must needs be circumcised and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man, child whose flesh is flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised. That soul shall be cut off from his people. He had broken my covenant. Isaac's birth promised and said and God said unto Abraham, as for Sarai, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarai shall her name be. And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Yes, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said, It is his heart shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old. And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ismael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him and an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And, and as for Ismael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall be begot, and I will make him a great nation. And my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. And Abraham took Ismael his son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were brought, bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the south same day as God had said unto him. And Abraham was ninety years old and nine when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ismael his son was thirty, thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. In the self same day was Abraham circumcised and Ismael his son and all the men of his house born in the house and bought 
with money of the stranger were circumcised with him. Chapter 18 And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamir, and he sat, sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lift up his eyes and looked. Lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your hearts. After that ye shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened on into the tent unto Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the heart. And Abraham ran into the heart herd, and fletched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk, and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee, according to the time of life and lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am wax old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being, so, being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laughed, saying, Shall I of surety bear a child which I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? As the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. And the men rose up from him tents and looked up toward Sodom and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way and the Lord said shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him for I am for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it which is come unto me and if not I will know Abraham intercedes for Sodom and the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom but Abraham stood yet before the Lord and Abraham drawn, drew near and said wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked Per, per adventure there be filthy righteous within the city, wilt thou also destroy and not spare the, pl the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? That be far from thee to do after this manner, and to slay the righteous from the wicked, and the, that the righteous should be as 
the wicked that be far from thee shall not <coughs> shall not the judge of all the earth do right and the Lord said if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city then I will spare all the place for their sakes and Abraham answered and said behold now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. Peradventure, there shall lack five of the fifty righteous. Wilt thou destroy all the city of, of lack of five? And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. And he spoke unto him yet again and said, Peradventure, there shall be forty found there, here, there. And he said, I will not do it for forty sake. And he said unto him, O oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Peradventure, there shall thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it, if I find thirty there. And he said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord peradventure there shall be twenty found there and he said I will not destroy it for twenty sake and he said oh let not the Lord be angry and I will speak yet but this once peradventure ten shall be found there and he said I will not destroy it for ten sake and the Lord went his way and as soon as he left communion with Abraham, the, and Abraham returned into his place. Chapter 19 God rescues Lot. And there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold, now my lords turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. But before they lay down the many the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as it is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof, and they said, Stand back. And they said again, This, this one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will need be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand, and pulled Lot into the house to them, and shut to the door. And they smote these men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both shall and small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatever, whatsoever, thou has in the city bring them out of this place for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxed great before the face of the Lord 
and the Lord had sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spoke unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid, upon, laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters. And the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain, escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my lord. And behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed, showed into me in saving my life. I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. And behold, now the city is near and to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one, and my soul shall live? And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow the city for the which thou hast spoken. Hast thee escaped thither, for I cannot do anything till you become thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. God destroys Sodom. God destroys Sodom. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he there and overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain. And beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. Lot and his daughters. And Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt in the mountain and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zar, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in, lay with her father, and he perceived not when he lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in and lie with him that we may preserve the seed of our father. That they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him. And he perceived not when he lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot, which 
child by their father. And the firstborn bare a son and called his name Moab. The same is the father of the Mo Moabites unto this day. And the younger, she also bare a son and called his name Benami. Benami. The same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day. Chapter 20 Abraham and Almalach And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur and sojourned in Jarer. And Abraham said to Sarah, of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. And Amabelech king of Gerar sent and took Sarah. But God came to Amalek in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man, for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Amalek had not come near her. And he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? She said he not unto me, She is my sister. And she, even she herself said, He is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands, have I done this? And God said unto him in a dream, Yes, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her, now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shall live, and if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shall surely die, thou and all that are thine. Therefore Amalek rose early in the morning, and called all his servants, and, to, and told all these things in their ears. And the men were so afraid, sore afraid. Then Amalek called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me and my, on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. And Amalek said unto Abraham, What sawest thou? that thou has done this thing. And Abraham said, Because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And she became my wife. And it came to pass when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said unto her, this is thy kindness, which thou shalt show unto me. At every place whither we shall come, say of me, He is my brother. And Almazek took sheep and oxen and men servants and women servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him Sarah his wife. And Amalek said, Behold, my land is before thee. Well, where it pleaseth thee. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other. Thus she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Amalek and his wife and his maidservants, and they, are, and they bear children. For the Lord had fasted, fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Emelech because of Sarah's, Abraham's wife. <laughs>